GG easy. Bro, I'm just learning this killer. Don't be a dick. Don't be a jerk. GG easy. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, The Crow Show. In this video, I'm going to show you a round where I, I got pretty salty playing as Dracula. I'm just learning Dracula. I have maybe 90 minutes played as Dracula, and I went up against a really strong four stack. Now, quick spoiler alert, uh, they fixed all five generators at the five minute 42 mark. And I'm going to cut out quite a bit here as I just want to show you some of the highlights. Uh, just know that I lost very badly and I'm, it's to be expected, you know, I'm, I've played Dracula for maybe 90 minutes and I totally get it, you know, I've played in four stacks where we all bring, you know, it's like, hey, I'll bring Deja Vu, I'll bring Unbreakable just in case we get slugged and I'll bring this and that and these players are actually really, really good. They played really well, they did outplay me and, uh, Right there, I could tell this tile was just way too strong. So I hit the eject button. He had two really strong windows there that he could, he could fast vault at any time. I just didn't want to let them get generators for free. This person pre-ran and I completely missed it. That looks like maybe Sprint Burst. So I keep chasing in wolf form and I'm like, okay, all right, let's try this out. I probably should have switched to vampire form at this point. Oh, uh, this is actually a really tough tile. <laughs> I tried, uh, I tried the, you know, the, the demo shred, if you will, or the Wesker rush. Um, I was like, ah. Already I'm getting kind of annoyed because I can kind of tell the this team is going to be a real hassle to deal with. This person greeds it. That's a really good play. And I, I'm respecting the palette way too much. I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm in trouble. So <laughs> I'm like, okay. Let's try vampire form here. Let's see how this works. Finally land a hit, I get stunned and then blinded. Once I recover from that, I just use my gaming headset and I, I follow her out there and I'm like, okay, cool. Hey, we got four gens. Maybe I can get to a scourge hook and um, hey, we can get some regression going. Second gen fix, two gen run, first chase. It's kind of to be expected. So we heard that person scream and I did lose a token on pain resonance. So I got pain res value there. I tried to hit her with the, the hellfire, I think it is. And bam, that gen gets fixed. So that was essentially a three gen chase in the first chase. And here I'm just kind of like, I, I lose track and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll hit them both with my hellfire. She runs away and um, I don't know how that misses. I don't know. I think some of the lunges are a little bit off. Like I notice when I'm playing in wolf form, especially lunges are really feel kind of weird. And there are a couple of times when I lunged with Dracula and I just completely mistimed and misjudged the, the distance. I didn't clue in at this point. Uh, she actually has off the record. I should just drop the chase right there. Uh, even before I get to this mark. She's not making any noise. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just switch targets. Hit the Fung Min. And again, I I'm at... <laughs> I'm at two generators left. I know it's already over. And this... Um, this map, like the, the tiles they got, are actually really strong. And I'm not blaming that. I'm taking 100% responsibility for the way I played. I did not play well. But they did happen to get a lot of really strong tiles that chained directly into Killer Shack. So they could be really greedy with pallets. And for a guy who's just learning this killer, wasn't very much I could do. So I was like, okay, well, shoot, one gen left. I've got two hooks. Sure, <laughs> let's try the wolf form. Let's try do something here. I thought she might go up there. I. I tried the lunge attack it didn't work i drop the chase and i go back to hook so i do find claire and i hit her with the hellfire again at this point i'm just kind of like okay i'll try see what i can do with chases i'll see what i can do with the mechanics in each form and um you know i've given up hope of quote unquote winning this trial 
Uh, I'm not sure what to do in a spot like this. I'm very frustrated. It's and and uh, I that felt clunky. I felt like when I hit my Hellfire, I thought it should have been right on her, but I don't know. It just it felt weird. So again, all the generators are fixed. That was actually five minutes and forty-two seconds into the trial with two hooks. So this team played extremely efficiently, and honestly, I don't think there was anything I can do. Even if I had a lot of hours with Dracula, I just didn't play well. <laughs> so I get the phone, and I'm like, okay, well, cool, wait. She has dead hearts, so she dead hearts <laughs> to get out of trouble. And I'm like, wow, dude. <laughs> This team couldn't have built a better, they couldn't have brought a better build. And look at these NFL linebackers just come in and just absolutely stuff me at the goal line. So I'm like, okay, I'll slug to get some pressure going. I'll see what I can do. But again, these gamers, very efficient, very good, just simply outplayed me. And uh, for a guy who's learning Dracula, and you know, sometimes we just have bad rounds too, right? Like that does happen. And that's one thing that I think survivors should recognize. When a killer has one or two hooks by the time you slam the fifth gen, you know you've won, right? Like you don't, you don't need to be a jerk about it in the end game chat. And that's exactly what happens. I spoil the end for you. So I'm like, okay, cool. And right there, I thought I should have landed that M1 attack on the Fung Min. Didn't happen. So I was like, okay, well, let's let's try Hellfire to get them both. And so I down her there. And, you know, again, I these gamers, they're in no danger whatsoever. Like, the confidence they play with, this this is a very solid team and greeting the pallet there my gosh what can i possibly do and they picked her up super fast what am i supposed to do there so i keep trying to get pressure get claire down i think i do go and pick her up i try to get the fung but she oh mind games me there dodges the attack there and my hellfire still on cooldown or i think it was in my head. So I was like, okay, I'll hit her with it there. She dodges. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm getting really frustrated, really annoyed. I'm trying to make the best of it. Um, they're all up again. I'm like, what do I do here? So I'll just, I'll just, okay, we'll, we'll give them the police escort out of here. <laughs> But uh, they didn't have enough distance to get there, so I'm like, okay, well, we'll, we'll see if we can down her. Greed's the pallet again. I should have called that. But I finally did get her down there. Go to put her back on hook, and what do I do? What should I do in this spot? I take her as far away as I can. And again, I'm not expecting much here. I So they come in for the save, and I'm just... At this point, I'm like, okay, well, I'll try to get her injured with my Hellfire. I do get her injured there, and I'm like, okay, maybe I can Hellfire them all here. I don't know why I basic attack there. I should have went for the Hellfire attack. So I'm like, okay, I'll down Laura, but she has balanced landing. <laughs> she had balanced landing. You couldn't plan that any better. And I just completely fumble there. That's just sad and tragic. Again, the weird lunge attack, I swear, it's a little bit off. I got absolutely bullied. We've already seen this. You know, the person hits me with a GG easy. They were actually streaming, and I went into their stream, and they're laughing at me, just being complete jerks. This is a brand new killer, people. I'm trying to learn here. Now, if we skip to the next round, I swapped to a completely different build. Coming in with the mindset that I'm going to play like a total freaking scumbag. So I've got Pop Goes the Weasel, Deadlock, No Ed, and Oppression. So the idea behind this build is just to get somebody down and then just tunnel them out. Deadlock will slow progress of, of fixing generators. Uh, again, that felt really sloppy and chunky. 
I thought that should have hit with, with my movement. So Rebecca happens to be the first person I catch, and here we go. We're off to the races. Let's chase Rebecca. I catch up to her, put her down. Let's put her on a hook. Now here's where the build comes into play. I get some regression on that generator going, and oppression will hit any other generators. And if they're fixing it, they get a skill check, and it's okay. But if they're off the gen, th those other generators will regress. Now my gameplay here is very boring. It is very scummy and it isn't very high skill ceiling. It, it takes actually no skill to do what I'm doing. I'm just proxy camping the hook, hoping she'll get to second stage and hoping that these other survivors are in solo queue and maybe they're not slamming generators as I'm proxy camping this Rebecca who's on her first hook and I'm trying to get her to second stage. Now keep in mind, behavior did extend uh, the hook stages, I believe by 10 seconds. So it'll take 70 seconds for Rebecca to get to second stage. So they come in, swarming in, and there we go. I hit two of them with Hellfire. That's always the goal when you get somebody, when you're camping with Dracula. So the game plan is just to get Rebecca down. That is not Rebecca. <laughs> yes, so I'm like, okay, I gotta find her. Gotta get, gotta tunnel out to Rebecca. And that generator is moving pretty quickly. And I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm, I isolate it. I'm like, okay, Rebecca's over here in the corner. And there she goes. Down she goes. So at this point, we just rinse and repeat. She's on second hook, and she's in the corner of the map. So that limits the amount of ways they can get her off the hook she's kind of funneled in there <laughs> and because of pop goes the weasel i get quite a bit of regression going on that generator and so now i just proxy the other rebecca comes in like a freaking hero and i actually kind of lose track of which one is which because they both have the same cosmetics and i wasn't really paying attention to which item they were carrying I switched to bat form, like, okay, gamer headset on. Okay, she's getting some distance. Gotta get her. Is this, is this my lucky victim? Is this person now out of the game? And yes, I did happen to guess the correct Rebecca. Bam, pop goes the weasel on that gen. Oppression will potentially regress any other generators they're not fixing. So now I just follow the scratch marks and just basically rinse and repeat. So they do have two generators left. I can see that they're healing. That's that person's first hook after proxy camping for about, I don't know, 40, 50 seconds. <clears throat> the exact same thing happens. And here we go. We go to tunnel. Hit her with the hellfire at the pallet drop. Oh, sorry about your luck, homie. Let's do a quick DS test. No, she has DS. Am I in trouble? Not really. I just switched to bat form to catch up. And we get to down her again super quickly. And her DS is gone. That generator is blocked thanks to deadlock. And uh, this girl is in a lot of trouble. Okay, so we get her on a hook. And we have Pop Goes Weasel on that generator that had about 2% progress. And we switch to bat form, do a quick check on that generator. That generator in the corner, I believe it, did, I believe it didn't have very much progress. So at this point, I'm just kind of looking for scratch marks. Our hero, Rebecca, goes in for the hook save, and we do our very skillful hellfire at the hook. And we just tunnel, 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 because that's the way we play this build. We're having fun, aren't we, as killer? Aren't we having so much fun? Put her down. Her game is over. So we have one generator left, two survivors left. Who's gonna win? I run into the Jonah, and so I'm like, okay, well, let's get him hurt. And he's kind of doing some tricky maneuvers there. Down you go, buddy. Just a quick spoiler alert. He died on his first hook. Rebecca's just playing for Hatch, which at this point you might as well. 
So I switch to bat form, looking for the hatch. About 15 seconds later, I find it. Oh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> and you can close it in bat form. You switch to Dracula really quick. So at this point, I'm going kind of like, what do I do here? And I see the scratch marks. Oh, and guess what? Noed has activated. So all I have to do is run up to the Rebecca, hit M1, very skillful play. She's down in one shot. And look at me, I've won the video game. I won this trial. It's a 4K. I killed all four survivors. Now, did that take skill on my behalf? No, not really. Did the perks carry? Absolutely. Is this a sad symptom of solo queue? Absolutely. A lot of, a lot of killers do abuse this. Now, if I played like I did in the last trial, probably would have had the same results. And here, the survivors actually got really upset with me and I don't blame them one little bit. Now this did have a bit of a happy ending because they did understand that I was experimenting with the build because quite frankly, I played about four or five trials and I got absolutely demolished in each one of them. I blame <laughs> the fact that I'm still learning Dracula, still learning the mechanics, trying to understand which form to use and when, which with Dracula can be complicated at times sometimes it's just very very simple and you know this end game chat i was kind of like being a little bit little bit of a jerk to start but then i i, I was like hey I'm, I'm experimenting i've been playing nice and i've been getting rocked <laughs> so i let them know hey i've been getting destroyed and rebecca's like hey fair enough and I talk about how this is a win, and it's very dumb. It's a very dumb design of this game, how you can proxy and tunnel, and that is a very strong strategy versus solo queue, and I suspect these gamers were solo queue gamers. So we actually had a nice little conversation to end this and let them know that it would be up on YouTube so a quick shout out to these gamers that I played against. Y'all were really good sports in the end. I do apologize for the way I played. I was just testing. I was like, you know what? Let's see if we proxy and tunnel using a scumbag build. Will it be fun for me? Not really. Will it be fun for the survivors? Absolutely not. But it did result in a win for me. But it does beg the question. Do we have to go for 12 hooks? Do we have to play fair? Do we have to play nice as killers? No. When survivors are slamming generators super fast, should they slow down because they realize the killer is playing very poorly? No, you don't have to. You can play this game however the heck you want. And sadly, this very tiny sample size illustrates that you can play like a complete dirtbag and quote unquote win but it's not very much fun. What's the conclusion? I don't know, you tell me. What are your thoughts? Should I be playing for 12 hooks or should I just proxy and tunnel and prey on solo queue gamers? Let me know in the comments and if you watched the full video, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, drop a subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next video.